All right, I wanted to make a really quick video about flowcharts and how you can use flowcharts to help you take a hard problem that you can't really, you know, imagine in your head and break it down in a way that you can actually visualize the pieces that you'll need to implement to solve the problems. So I wanted to start a new side project, maybe make this into another SaaS uh, product where basically all my videos I publish, I want to have the chapters automatically be generated. And I know YouTube might actually have something already that does this, but I, from what I've seen, the results are pretty bad. And it takes a lot of time to go through my videos and like add chapters manually. So my idea is to make a web service where people can come in, add a ID to the YouTube video. And my system will basically download the video, get the transcripts, run that through OpenAI, generate the chapter timestamps for me. And I can take those timestamps and just add them into my description here or put them in a comment. But the, the idea, is that you have this diagram that you can actually do beforehand before you jump into the code or you can actually give this to a junior developer who can follow this to try to build out the system to implement what's needed okay there's a really good example of how complicated systems can get this is the slack flow chart with notifications i believe so like when someone sends out a message in slack this is a flow chart just to know if a notification should pop up for you as a user so as you can tell some pieces of software can get very, very complicated and a flow chart is sometimes the best way for a human to understand what the heck is going on. Because as you can tell, like trying to keep track of all this stuff in your head, it's just not going to work out. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so flow charts are super, super useful. So I started making out a flow chart here where basically I wanted to understand when a user loads up the UI, I want to have an input box where they can type in like a video ID. And when they submit that, it's going to go to a backend service which is going to download the transcript from YouTube. And if for whatever reason the video is not found, like let's say they've typed in the URL wrong or they just did the wrong video ID, it's gonna go ahead and go down this path where I'm just gonna display an error to the user, okay? So the happy path, if I follow this down, let's say the transcript does download fine, um, we're gonna take that transcript data and we're gonna pass it to OpenAI. I'm gonna tell OpenAI to generate a bunch of chapters for that transcript, right? So typically when you download a transcript, you get timestamps and you also get like the words that were said during the video. But I wanna make OpenAI basically look through those, those timestamps and the words, group them into maybe sections or chapters and give me some more like combined um, information about what those chapters are, right? So happy path, if everything goes good, we're gonna return the chapters text to the user and they can basically upload that or paste that into their YouTube video. So I might even say down here, I might even say down here, um, user paste into YouTube description. Now, for whatever reason, OpenAI cannot give us back proper JSON that has that chapter's description. I'm gonna go ahead and just go down this fail path, and then I'm gonna refund credits, because I think I'm gonna do, be doing another credit type of system, where if for whatever reason something goes wrong, um, I've already spent money in OpenAI to have it generate some, some data, and I don't want that to use my user's credit. So I'm gonna go ahead and refund the credits, and then I'm gonna show an error to the user. All right, so that's kind of what I wanted to share with you all. Using a flow chart, if you feel like you just can't like mentally grasp or mentally visualize what you need to do, getting a flow chart on paper can really help you understand what you need to implement in your system. So go ahead, try that for yourself if you're a beginner. See if you can take something you need to do like an API endpoint or maybe some type of like UI components. List out the steps that the user will do and the system will do to execute on the user data as a flow chart. And then I would say like, as you're going through and trying to implement this stuff, just go ahead and put like little check boxes, right? So you can visually know that, hey, I'm done with all this. And uh, you'll know that if you ever miss anything, you can just simply just go back to this diagram and get that good information. That's the approach I like to take. Leave a comment below if you have a different approach of what you like to take to kind of tackle harder problems when you're building out um, projects or systems. Other than that, that's all I want to talk about. So have a good day. Happy coding. And uh, be sure to comment, subscribe, press the bell icon, and join me Discord.